welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm gonna put that down because that is hot. As you can tell, I've literally just jumped out of the shower. I was gonna start getting ready. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do like a little spend the day with me because I haven't done one in a while. I freshly tanned last night and I washed my hair this morning. Um, I got my hair done maybe last week. I don't think you guys would, mm, would you have seen it? Yeah, you probably would have actually. But yeah, got my extensions out at the minute. I can't decide whether to get them put back in or not. I feel like I will, but I might give my hair a little bit of a break. I'm just trying to give it some love and attention at the minute. So yeah, I might keep them out. I don't know. I'm going on holiday next month, so I might get them put back in for that. Not 100% sure. I'm really like so indecisive about my hair extensions. I love having them in, but then at the same time, I'm like, I would love to just take proper care of my own hair and like put masks on it. Because when I have my extensions in, obviously it's a lot of hair. So yeah it's just harder to look after but i'm sure in the next couple of videos you'll probably see me with my hair extensions back in i'm not gonna lie so yeah i just need to get ready quickly i don't have much planned today but a few little fun things so i thought i would film i'm gonna do the food shop not really fun but it's kind of fun for me like i love doing the food shop i'll show you guys what i get i'm gonna go to audi today instead of little god the fun times of being an adult honestly like that excites me but there's a new audi audi whatever you call it by me so I thought I would give it a go because it's right next to a home bargains so I want to pop in there but we are doing loads of like renovation bits on the house at the minute so I just want to grab some little bits for our bedroom and the hallway or just have a little browse there might not even be anything in there but if there is I want to have a little look I'm just gonna lower you down a little bit is that any better I feel like that's a bit better. So yeah, I want to pop in there and then I also need to get content today. It's actually a really nice day today, finally. The weather in the UK, as always, has just been really up and down. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some content. I've roped my mum into helping me with that because I've really slipped off of Instagram. But I want to jump back onto it. I'm really into TikTok at the minute. So I need to like build up my Instagram again and kind of be like a an all-rounder, you know? So it's meant to be like 24, 25 today, which let me tell you. For the UK at the minute, that is really good. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try out my new Barley Body Tan and Products, guys. The packaging, Tan Products, SPF Products, sorry. The packaging on these is so unreal. Like, I love this baby blue colour. The bottles are just gorgeous as well. So this is the packaging. How lovely are these? So I'm gonna review these and put these on for you guys. Do a little bit of a get ready, that sort of thing. And then we will crack on with the day. Um, so this first one is a face and body sunscreen spray. SPF 50. I used to be really bad with SPF, but now I just think I'm gonna tan anyway. So I really want to use like a stronger SPF. Don't get me wrong. I might use a bit of a tan and oil eventually when I've built up a little bit of a tan, but I do really want to pre protect my skin a little bit more. And then we've got the hydrating body sunscreen. So this is just a lotion, the other one's a spray. Again, SPF 50. I think in the UK, because we don't get much sun, like we just go for it, but honestly, like we really need to protect our skin more. And also I went to see, well, my mum went to go see a skin specialist the other week and I went with her and they were just saying, even in this country, even in like autumn, winter, you need to be wearing SPF, which I am honestly so bad at. So I'm gonna start, this is where I'm gonna start. And then I've also got the hydrating face sunscreen, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging, I'm obsessed. So I'll show you what the bottles and stuff look like. I have been using these and they are honestly so, so nice. I, as I say, I'm not normally great, with sunscreen um but the last year or so i'm really trying to like up my game of it make sure i've got it on all the time and honestly this is going to make it so easy because they're so so lightweight you know sometimes when you put sunscreen on and they just feel like they clog your skin they feel really heavy and greasy these do not feel like that at all so yeah if you are the same as me like even moisturizers for me if i find them too heavy it's just a no-go they need to be really lightweight so these are so perfect so i'm gonna pop the face one on now so this is the hydrating facial spf 50 sunscreen it's lightweight and absorbs quickly to leave a non-greasy matte finish and it's enriched with vitamin e which repairs and soothes to nourish your skin while keeping it protected. That all sounds absolutely fab. As I said, I've been using this. This as well, guys, does not leave a white cast in the slightest on your face. Like some, they claim they don't, but they really do. This, I promise you, does not. So yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. It's just got a little pump applicator. Just pump a bit on my finger. Um, and I literally just apply this 
generously across my whole face and I've been doing this under makeup so I will be doing a full face of makeup my sort of like light everyday makeup at the minute and it's been completely fine like my makeup goes on really nicely with it as I said it doesn't leave a white cast at all and it's really nice and like nourishing like it almost just feels like a moisturizer hopefully you guys can see I've completely rubbed that in no white cast at all so that is fabulous just rub it all in as I say I'm really really generous with this because you just cannot be too careful with the sun that is the face one guys I honestly promise you one I don't even think that's scented like I cannot smell anything which is good if you've got like sensitive skin or if you're really sensitive to smells and two like you cannot tell that I've got that on normally it really leaves like a white over mask but nothing at all feels really lightweight just feels like I've applied a moisturiser to my face. So I'm so happy with that because honestly, I think that's really hard to find. I'm just gonna let that like sink into my skin. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna do the body SPF. I probably will reapply this later when I do go out and do photos, but I will show you guys what it's like now just so you can see. So this again, dry touch, lightweight, and this is the body sunscreen. The other one is a spray. The pump is really similar to the face one that I showed you. I will just show you like this. Again, it is so lightweight. You know, normally they're really like thick and clunky. They're not at all. They're really, really thin. I'm just taking my pajama top off because I wasn't gonna be able to show you properly. Um, I'm just gonna pop this on. So this absorbs so quickly into the skin. Like you're not gonna feel tacky or greasy, which again is a feeling that I really hate. And this one as well is enriched with vitamin E and aloe vera. So it's really nice and nourishing for the skin. Um, again, I'm just gonna be super, super generous with this, especially on like my neck and my shoulders and my chest area, because that's like what's gonna be exposed to the sun most on a daily basis, because obviously we're not blessed with the nicest weather in this country, but nine times out of 10, like you'll have something on the top of your body on show. So I'm just gonna be really generous with that. Honestly, it just feels so nice. It just feels like I'm applying like a really lightweight moisturizer onto my skin again you can't see it, it's a little bit glowy but nothing like a white cast or anything like that so this one is actually water resistant for up to 80 minutes as well which is good to know if you're wearing this on holiday or if you're lucky enough to have a pool in this country yeah it just says to reapply every two hours or after excessive swimming perspiration or toweling Um, i'm so happy with this the one that i think i will probably use the most though oh, to be fair actually i don't know because that actually does feel really nice is the hydrating sunscreen spray again it's spf 50 gives you uva and uvb protection this one is four hours water resistant which is just so so good so yeah this one is a spray sun cream and again this one's enriched with nourishing vitamin e and soothing glycerin to keep skin soft smooth and protected don't know what that is, but it sounds great. I just find sprays a lot easier, like if you're on the go, if you're out and about, they're just a lot easier to apply. You don't have to like get your hands messy. You know, if you're in like a theme park or something, I tend to go for a spray. So I think I probably would get more like general use out of this one. But yeah, again, really easy to apply. It just literally says to shake well and hold 10 to 15 centimeters away from said body part. Should I do it on my chest? It'll probably be a bit easier to show you. Obviously I've already got sun cream on this, but just literally like so. And it sinks in so nicely. Like you don't have to mess around like rubbing it in. Obviously you could do if you wanted to, but if you didn't want to get your hands all mucky, like I said, then you don't have to do that. So all three of the SPFs that I just showed you are fragrance free, which is fab. A lot of fragrances give me headaches and migraines. So I'm happy with that. And I think if you've got sensitive skin, I think I'm right in saying then fragrance free is better because it doesn't like irritate your skin. Um, but yeah, obsessed with all of those. So if you guys do need some new like SPFs for holiday or just everyday use in the UK when we do finally get some nice weather. Really, really recommend these, especially if you're fussy with what you put on your skin like me. They are so nice. And guys, I forgot to tell you, I don't think I've updated you. I finally booked a couple of holidays, which I'm so happy about. So these will definitely be coming with me. I'm going to Spain for five nights with the girls. And then we are also going to America. So yeah probably gonna buy more of these because i go through so much when i'm away but yeah thank you so much to barley body for sponsoring that part of the video really appreciate it as you guys know one of my favorite brands ever ever to work with so yeah i will leave them all linked down below if you guys want to try them out check them out their tan in general is unreal as well this is their tan one now this is the one hour 
express like you literally have to leave it on for an hour you can leave it on for longer if you want to but i left it on for two hours last night and it's a really nice like natural golden color so yeah products in general are just fab so definitely recommend okay so i'm just literally gonna do a really like lightweight makeup look because as i said i'm not doing anything crazy today but i still want to look like a little bit more put together so i'm just going to show you guys what i've been doing this has been my go-to like lightweight errand running sort of thing you know what i mean so i'm starting off with the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i'm running out of this but i'm trying to hold off until i go to america so i can just get it in sephora because i want to treat myself to like a big makeup top up um, so I just apply this all over. I've got this in shade four, by the way, but I'm thinking I might get it in shade three and four because when my tan fades a little bit, four is like a tiny bit too dark, like a little bit too golden. I've just been putting that on and then on top, before I even blend anything in, I've just been putting the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour wear on top, like not a lot at all but just to sort of give it a little bit more coverage. And then I buff all of that in with a brush. I just find it's easier with a brush to get like all round your face and evenly distribute the product. And then instead of concealer, because I just cannot find a concealer that I love, let me know if you guys have any recommendations, but I've been using this. This is actually a foundation, but it's the Becca ultimate coverage in vanilla which i am annoyed about because obviously becca isn't a brand anymore i don't think you can get hold of it at all so when this runs out i think i might cry because it's just the perfect like yellow undertone but not too yellow like an in-between of yellow and pink if you know what i mean so i've just been placing this under my eyes on my chin my forehead a little bit on my nose and then here where i get a bit of redness and i find this just does such a better job than any concealer at the minute. And I prefer the undertone of it. And then yeah, I just blend all of that in with a beauty blender. Like so. And then I do still like to do a little bit of contour. I know I said this is like really basic, but for me it's a lot quicker still. And I just put it on the end of my brush, just so it's a little bit lighter. And literally just a little bit on the cheekbones and then a bit on my nose. I just think nose contour makes the biggest difference to your makeup and I look like a different person <laughs> without it so we're gonna go with the nose contour so yeah literally super easy by the way this is the Primark um foundation and contour stick I think it's like two pounds I really really recommend this like honestly if you want a good contour and you don't want to spend loads it's funny this is actually just as good as expensive ones that I've tried then I really recommend this one a little bit of nose contour like that this one is in the shade chai unreal and it's a bargain and then a little bit of cream blush this is the rare beauty one i think i showed this in my last makeup video this is so so nice it's in the shade nearly mauve it's just so lightweight like you need the smallest bit and it really shows up hopefully you guys can see i just put that a little bit like across my nose as well just because it kind of looks like i've caught the sun um a little bit on the forehead so yeah, that's the blush. Okay, I actually lied. There's one more base product and then it's just brows and mascara, but I will save you watching that because I do the same thing all the time. You guys need this blusher. This is from The Beauty Crop um, and it is called Orion Glow. It is the nicest like glowy blusher. Like it is unreal. It's kind of like a highlighter and a blusher in one. So it saves you the step of highlighting. It's just Makes you look so like youthful and glowy. I'm obsessed with it. Just literally opened the door and I just spilled tea all over my white rug. Please tell me this is going to come out. What do I use to get tea out of a rug? Oh, can you even see it now? I think that's kind of gone. Oh my God. Please don't show up. Okay. I think I'm just going to let it dry. And then when I get back, if I need to, I can put some bleach or something in it. Ugh. Jesus Christ guys, when I said it was hot this morning, it is hot. What is the temperature? Oh, my car says it's 26. I am buzzing with that. I'm not gonna lie, I've just done my Audi shop. You can probably see behind me. I normally go to Lidl, I can't remember if I said, but I tried Audi this time because there's a new Home Bargains, which was rubbish, by the way, not gonna lie. But nothing <laughs> gives me anxiety in life. Like I'm a pretty confident person, but oh my God, packing up my shopping 
just gives me anxiety like I can't deal with it they literally chuck it at you and I'm just flinging it in a bag like I'm gonna have to deal with it when I get home it is literally just chucked in there um I just can't deal with the speed they need to slow down I think it was actually worse in Audi than it normally is in Lidl he was literally just like flying it down and there was no room and he was like trying to make room for it I was like can if you just calm down there won't be a problem you know um but I'm gonna drive straight home because I've got some frozen bits. I got some lollies and some ice cream and stuff like that. Cause as I said, it's a really nice day. I'm loving life. What a day to be alive. I think I'm gonna go to like home sense later or something. Maybe I need to put my sat nav on to find my way home. Cause I'm off of directions. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go to home sense, maybe Matalan later. Cause there was absolutely nothing in home bargains. So if I do find some bits, I'll give you a little haul and I'll give you a haul of what I just got in Audi, but I'm gonna go because I'm melting and I'll see you guys in a minute. Excuse the mess behind me, by the way. Obviously we are renovating. I will give you guys a house update soon as well, actually. Um, maybe I'll do that in my next video. The hair's gone up. It is bloody hot outside. But yeah, food shop's done. So I thought I would give you a little grocery haul. So first things I got, I've already opened these, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've already had one of these and then um, Sean's dad just had one of these. So I got the low calorie cookie dough ice cream. Never tried this one before. So hopefully it's good. Sean likes to have these. These cookie and cream ice cream sandwiches. I think these were like 75p for six, which is insane. A mixture of lollies and then spicy bean burgers. I've had these from Lidl before, but not um, Aldi. So hopefully they're as good because I loved these. These were like a lockdown favorite for me. Okay, then this is the main bulk of it. I've tried to leave like some cleaning stuff and that out. Ignore the color of this walls, by the way. They are going to be changed eventually. We're going to get the whole kitchen done, but for now they are this lovely blue shade so bread i don't know why we got so many bread options why did i do that i think i got a bit carried away but we've got some wraps a malted bloomer some brioche buns i'm gonna make some like low calorie burgers tonight these kisses these are so good by the way they're already cut in half for you so you don't have to worry about them like breaking or whatever you literally pop them in the toaster so good they do also do like a whole meal version and then these brown sandwich fins. Sean loves these. And I also make little like mini snack pizzas for lunch. I can show you guys how I do that in another vlog if you wanna see, but they are so, so yummy. And then just some sandwich fillers. So we've got some ham, some chorizo, some chicken. I'm hoping this isn't that really like disgusting wafery chicken. I'm hoping it's like good quality chicken. I couldn't tell. They didn't have any others. So we just got that. Then some parmesan, some mature cheddar. We get the half fat one, just because honestly, I think we're so used to it now, it tastes the same to us. So I just go with that. And then I got some red Leicester to mix it up a little bit. Um, I got Sean some cereal. Sean would literally live on cereal every single meal of the day if he could. So I got him some malt Wheaties and these like crispy bites. I think they're really similar to the Weetabix minis. So hopefully he likes those because they were a lot cheaper. And then I've got these. These are what we're gonna have tonight. So we've got skinny beef quarter pounder burgers. They're basically like the 5% fat mints in a burger. So we've got those. I got some bacon medallions. I love to have these in the morning or I do like a grill up for dinner, that sort of thing. Some chicken chipolatas. I prefer these to pork like a lot more and it just so happens that they're leaner as well, but I much prefer these. And then some mints, 5% mints, some salmon. I've already got cod in the freezer. And then I just got some packed rice just for ease. I got peri peri rice, which I haven't seen before. So I think that's gonna be quite good. Savory chicken rice, and then this steamed long grain rice. In case I'm not here, Sean can like just chuck that in the microwave because he is definitely not a chef. Sean does not love cooking. So yeah, that's easier for him. Some rigatoni pasta. And then onto the best bits, we've got like some snacky bits. I tried to pick up a variety of stuff because otherwise we get bored and we just end up buying stuff anyway. So I got some 10 calorie jellies. These are blueberry and blackcurrant flavor. Some Muller Light like equivalent. These are Audi own, but they are orange with dark, <laughs> with dark chocolate? Orange with dark chocolate and vanilla. The orange with dark chocolate are my faves from Muller. So hopefully these are just as good. And then I got some yogurt fruit bars. These are yummy, really like easy snack. Or even like as a breakfast, if you're on the go, these are really good. Some protein pouches. I don't know what it is, but the pouches for me just hit the spot. I much prefer to have a pouch. So they are peach and passion fruit flavor. And then I got raspberry, but in the normal tub, a strawberry, and then some more peach and passion fruit. 
I got these for Sean to try. Birthday cake high protein bar. He's obviously never tried these ones. These are new and they are 21.2 grams of protein. So I thought you could try those. Again, super affordable compared to like your normal branded bars. And then just for some drawer snacks, I got these safari snacks. These just remind me of being really young and I love them. They're little bags. They actually do have like a fair amount in them. And they're 95 calories per bag. So if you're looking for some like lower calorie snacks, these are really yummy. I got these fiber bars as well. Again, Audi own. We normally get little own, obviously or the normal fiber one bars, but these are so much cheaper. Like I think they're like 90p for a box of five. So absolute bargain. Sorry if I'm talking fast, by the way, I'm just trying to get through it so I don't bore you guys. And then I got some bananas. I always get these little bananas. I think they're meant for kids, but I just think they're a really great size. Some blueberries, some strawberries, avocado. I did get a few, but I thought I would just leave them in the bag. Veggies, I try to not pick up as many veggies and I can just sort of get them as I need to if we run out because Sean's not a big veggie eater. I'm a massive veggie eater, but I don't always go through like a whole bag of carrots or whatever. So I just picked up a few bits and then I can pick up some like loose carrots or courgette or whatever as and when I need them. Got this cucumber by the way, how huge is this? Absolutely massive, like this is a cereal box. And look how much bigger it is. Crazy. Some tomatoes, red peppers. I got this. This actually looked really good. And we had one really similar the other night from Co-op. It's just a whole chicken that is already marinated in peri peri rub. And the one the other night was really good. So I just got this as like an easy option if we need something to just chuck in the oven. So we'd have that maybe like cut up into pitters or with some rice and salad, that sort of thing. And then guys, probably the thing that I'm the most excited about, I love lime and I saw this, so it's called Lime Aid and it just says made freshly squeezed limes and a hint of sweetness. This is giving me like mojito vibes. I could make like a mocktail mojito is what I'm thinking, grab some mint. I'm gonna try that, but this looks really good. I'll try it in a little bit. And then orange juice with bits, and I've been loving these. Instead of drinking like Diet Coke and stuff all the time because I love a fizzy drink, um, I've been buying these. They're literally just sparkling flavored water. So I got lemon and lime and peach and passion fruit. I go through like one a day, but I've never tried the Audi ones before. So I just got two and um, hopefully they're good. And then I got some gherkins. I love gherkins. Let me know down below if you're a lover or a hater, but I go through like a jar every few days honestly like i'm obsessed with them they are just so good some jalapenos because i love my spice some baked beans chopped tomatoes mustard garlic granules cajun seasoning tomato chunks yeah, that is about it i did get some cleaning bits and bobs um, and i probably like i said will have to run out and grab a few more little bits of like veggies and stuff as we need them but as a whole i actually think it was really good it was kind of annoying because obviously where i normally go to Lidl. I know where everything is, but I did like Audi to be fair. So I definitely would give it another go. And it's just good to mix it up a little bit. Obviously they're very similar, but they do do some different bits too. So yeah, I might mix it up between the two. That whole food shop was 95 pounds, I believe. So not the cheapest, but that will probably last us like two weeks. And also it's not just me and Sean at the minute, it's me, Sean and his dad, cause he's staying with us for like a week or so. So yeah, that will last us for a little bit. I've got to get all this away now. Guys, why is putting the shopping away that adult task that is just, like, I hate it. I really hate it. I've got to clean up the fridge, clean out the cupboards. But yeah, I'm going to get going because otherwise I'm just going to put it off. Hope you guys enjoyed my little food haul. Let me know if you want me to do some like meal ideas for lunches, dinners, that sort of thing, because I love to cook. So I can definitely get that done for you. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna stop talking and get this away. Hey guys, it is the next day. I'm not gonna lie, I ended this vlog last night. I loaded it up and everything. And then I thought, do you know what? It was a bit of a rubbish ending because I went shopping for home stuff. Couldn't find a thing. Went to Home Bargains. Where else did I go? Home Bargains, HomeSense, TK Maxx, literally no luck. Sorry, the camera angle there is awful. So I thought I'm gonna go on a little bit of a hunt. I'm gonna go to Matalan and then I'm going to, where else am I going? The range, I'm gonna go to the range and see if I can find some bits because I do really need some bits for our bedroom and I need some storage bits for our office. So I thought that would kind of like tie off the 
vlog a little bit nicer and um, something a little bit more interesting is that going to stay there and i'm also going to post some vintage parcels if you guys don't already follow me on vintage i will leave my vintage on screen here for you guys because honestly i sell so much on there where i'm really fortunate that i get stuff sent from brands and obviously buy some stuff for myself as well i just physically cannot use and wear that much stuff so i sell a lot on my vintage um, so I will leave it on screen like I said if you guys see anything that I try on in try on hauls or on my Instagram or whatever Nine times out of ten in like a few weeks after it will probably be on my vintage at some point So yeah definitely have a little look I try and do quite low prices on there as well just so it shifts because otherwise I've got to store it all So yeah definitely follow me on there I'm going to go post these and then like I said I'm going to go have a hunt around those shops I'm really hoping I find some bits because you know when you've got a vision in your head I'll leave it on screen of what I'm going for I need to find some bits like to get me excited you know and i just want to go on a bit of a shop so yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm gonna turn my engine on put the aircon on now because i am melting it is absolutely if roasting are as we are as again today what is the temperature 24 we love to see it so yeah i will catch up with you guys in a minute So it's a little bit later now and um, I would have just left in some clips a second ago of what I found in Matalan. Do you know what? They actually had some really nice bits but they didn't have any trolleys and most of it was like garden stuff which I need. My garden is a state but that's not what I went in there for so I didn't pick anything up from Matalan but I thought I would just show you guys what I saw in there because they did have some really cute pieces and I will go back in there when I've either got someone with me or they actually have trolleys or I might just do an online order actually. Let me know if you guys want to see like a Matalan homeware haul or like a mixture of the two and I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, the rain was a little bit of a fail, I'm not going to lie. I did get, I don't know if you guys can see, back here, I'll just pick up and show you actually. I got another one of these. You've probably seen this in the background of my videos before, but I flip and love this vase. This is just from the range and I think it was like £12. But I got another one for our bedroom because I thought it'd be really cute in there too. So I need to get some more pampas for that. But yeah, they did have loads of different vases in there. So I might go back in there as well. The thing is, I don't want to get too much for the bedroom yet before we've completely decorated it, just so I know like the full vibe that I want um but yeah the bedroom is underway i have filmed like a whole separate vlog for that so i can't wait for you guys to see that but i thought i would come on here and show you guys because i actually did an order from shop cider recently and i know so many people love this brand but it's also like a new brand so you might want to order from them and you just want to see what it's like so i thought i would show you i did already do like a little tiktok haul on this but if you guys don't already follow me on tiktok then i will show you here as well why not you know um excuse the state of me by the way literally just jumped out the shower in my winnie the pooh pajamas i'm about to like slouch on the sofa with a cup of tea in a second but i thought i'd just show you guys this first so i will show you this little top first Louie, come lay down come lay down baby because you're making so much noise no, over here, you can't always sit on me because I've got no, I've got stuff on my lap. Okay. Mwah. Good boy. So this little top is super cute. I will do little trunklets for everything, but this doesn't actually fit me. I'll just leave like a model image or something on the screen so you guys can see. A little like tie front top. It's this mesh material. It's a really cute floral pattern. I absolutely love it. 
it's just slightly too small like my boobs didn't fit in it properly i did get it in a size large as well so that is a little bit annoying but the rest i absolutely love so i got some cargos cargos are obviously everywhere at the minute so i picked these up i think they have them in black khaki a lighter like cream than these and then this sand color the material on this is unreal like really really nice quality really thick and the length is actually okay as well considering i'm like five foot seven i will do a try and clip by the way so you guys can see but yeah they've got nice big pockets on the side love them thought they were really cute again i got these in a size large and then i picked up these two cute little tops i love little knit tops i don't know what it is i just think they're really lovely so this is like a little crochet one with the buttons on the front i believe i got everything in a large let me just check before i say about everything yeah Got both of these in a larger too, and I just thought this was really sweet with some little denim shorts or um, jeans, pretty much anything, but a little bit different. Like you don't really see tops like this on other websites, so I thought I would pick that up and I actually love it. And then I got, this is the last little like top jumper thing that I got. I got one similar, but it's just this like sleeveless sweater vest, but it does have a zip on it. I just thought this was so cool and again a little bit different so it's got the gold zip on the front you could wear this open or shut if you wanted to you could just wear it open with like a little crop vest underneath or completely done up i will of course show you on but yeah i thought this was really lovely um i think they did do this in other colors as well the knit by the way is so thick like a really thick soft knit so i'm really really impressed with all of their um quality and the items are really great and then I picked up a cute little dress this is the last piece that I picked up it's basically just like a flowy mid axi type dress a real typical like girly summer dress again they had this in blue and lemon I believe but I picked it up in this baby pink and I just love how floaty and girly it is and stuff like this is so like cool and airy to wear in the summer so yeah just thought i would show you guys i didn't get charged any import tax because i feel like i'll get asked that no import tax took around a week to come i would say but yeah as i said i did put this little haul up on tiktok a couple of weeks ago so if you want to see like more hauls and just general like day-to-day -day stuff then i'll leave my tiktok on the screen here for you guys as well um but yeah i think that is everything as i say i will have a bedroom renovation vlog coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks we've got to get the room plastered we've just had the electrics done um, and then we're getting a carpenter to come around and sort out our wardrobes to make them bigger and then it's like the fun stuff i can paint and our new bed's been delivered we just need to get a few more bits of furniture and some little pieces so yeah i'll probably just include every single thing like that in the bedroom renovation vlog including like shopping for accessories and stuff like that um and i am doing like a mini tiktok series on it but yeah i think that is everything don't forget i will leave the links to the barley body spf down below for you guys also let me know if you guys do want to see more of this sort of style of vlog i obviously have some more hauls coming as well you can probably see a little sneak peek in the background here for me to film tomorrow let me know if there's any other types of videos you guys want to see down below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys